Hi, I'm Brent Ramsey, Technical Advisor for Canon USA, and I want to introduce you to two new professional camcorders, the XA15 and XA11. The high-quality 4K UHD XF405 and XF400 professional camcorders are now joined by the cost-effective Full HD XA15 and XA11 professional camcorders, and this will help to meet a wide range of needs from low-end to advanced amateur. The XA15's and XA11's imaging system, including a high-performance HD lens, advanced HD CMOS Pro sensor, and Digic DV4 image processor, makes it a tremendous choice for a wide range of applications from on-the-go ENG productions to movie and television productions, broadcast schools, and more. So exactly what's different about the two models? Well, the XA15 includes an HDSDI terminal the standard interface for professional applications, and it enables an uncompressed output at 1920 by 1080 with 422 color sampling and embedded audio and timecode. Now, other than the HD SD SDI terminal, these two models are otherwise identical. Both camcorders feature a wide angle lens with a focal length at 26.8 millimeters on the wide end together with a powerful 20 times zoom reaching 576 millimeters at f2.8 on the long end. So it covers a truly broad spectrum of shooting scenarios, all while maintaining a compact design similar to previous Canon camcorders. This long zoom length is enhanced by a strong five axis image stabilization system which helps reduce image blur even when zooming far into the distance. The system supports three modes of optical and electronic image stabilization, which can be selected manually, or intelligent IS can use an automatic detection system to identify the proper stabilization mode for the situation. It also enables smooth vibration control and overall will improve image distortion substantially, especially while walking. The lenses are created with Canon cultivated optics technology that produces its EF series of lenses. The circular aperture helps create natural, smooth, out of focus areas, you know, like the points of light that appear in the background or the night skylines. Multiple recording modes, resolutions, and frame rates make the XA15 and XA11 professional camcorders creatively flexible and adaptable to virtually any environment. They can record in full HD resolution to dual SD cards in both AVC HD and MP4 recording codecs at multiple bit rates and up to 60p. For backup and convenience, dual slot recording allows you to record simultaneously to each of the two SD memory card slots providing an instant backup of your footage. Or use relay recording, where you can extend recording times as the camcorders automatically switch video recording from one card to the other when the first card becomes full. Now that can give you up to 12 hours of continuous recording time. You can even record the same scene to both memory cards using different formats, AVC HD on one and MP4 to the other. Slow and fast recording lets you record from 0.4 times up to 1200 times, which offers a variety of slow motion and especially time-lapse effects. You can even verify the record playback times and the finished effects at a glance on the screen. The XA15 and XA11 feature three looks modes to enhance the recording's visual quality. Standard for a practically finished look, and then there's wide DR gamma and highlight priority, which help to deliver an expansive range of colors and tones virtually consistent with how they're seen by the naked eye. Now during shooting or playback in the highlight priority mode, the view assist function allows you to adjust the brightness and gamma settings of the LCD panel and EVF to ensure that the subjects are displayed and captured in the most realistic way. Fine details are displayed crisply and clearly on the 1.56 million dot viewfinder. 
the tiltable user-friendly viewfinder helps provide easy visibility even under bright outdoor conditions. Operations can be performed quickly and intuitively from the large capacitive touch panel. Settings can be changed and operations performed by just swiping through the menu. Professional users will feel comfortable using the XA15 and the XA11 since they inherit the same level of operability found in professional cameras. Things like a seesaw style zoom lever, focus zoom ring, lens hood with lens barrier, custom button dial, to name a few. Now, not only do the XA15 and XA11 provide you with incredible control over the image, they also provide immense creative freedom when it comes to inputs and outputs. Both models also include a USB connection, an HDMI 2.0 port, mic terminal, a dedicated headphone terminal, and remote terminal. And as I mentioned earlier, the XA15 features an HD SDSDI terminal. Even more, Terminals are optimally positioned to the left and right of the grip area, allowing for handheld shooting while cables are attached. All of the features needed in a professional handheld camcorder are packed in this compact lightweight body. It's extremely useful in fields that demand mobility, such as media and reporting. A detachable handle provides expanded audio performance and added flexibility while shooting. Included on the handle are two built-in XLR audio input terminals with phantom power, a cold accessory shoe, an external microphone holder, manual audio level control, a zoom control, a record start stop button, an infrared light, and a tally lamp. Removing the handle allows for a low profile recording configuration and makes it more compact for convenient storage when traveling. As you can see, the XA15 and the XA11 are versatile new additions to Canon's professional camcorder lineup. These camcorders facilitate speedy, outstanding HD quality video capture that can be ideal for ENG, movie and television productions, broadcast schools, and so much more. Now, please check the Canon USA website for more product details on the Canon XA15 and the XA11. I'm Brent Ramsey. Thanks for watching.
Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here and welcome to the Canon XF200 and XF205 video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be talking about camera optics with the camera, but before I do that, I do want to mention that the only difference between the 200 and the 205 are the pro terminals that are on the XF205. So what we're going to talk about in this video are things like the 8-bladed iris. We're going to be talking about the zoom lens and the overall lens of the camera system. We're going to be talking about the digital zoom. We're going to be talking about image stabilization. We're going to talk about face detection. And we're also going to talk about the overall image quality and low light capabilities of the camera. So let's get started. OK, so the first thing I want to do is talk about the lens. And the lens is an f1.8 to f2.8 20x optical zoom. And what that means is the 35 millimeter equivalent is a 28.8 millimeter on the wide end all the way to a 576 millimeter on the long end. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at some footage that we shot recently in Jersey City. This particular shot, we have the XF205 up on sticks, and we've got a long shot. We're starting on the wide end of the lens, and we're going to go ahead and zoom in all the way to the end of the optical part of the lens, which is a 20x zoom. And you'll see here in the shot, we have our talent. The talent is now walking into position and then they're going to settle into their final spot where we block them. And then they walk out of frame and you can see again what the huge range is of the 20x zoom. Now in this next shot, what we're doing is we're going into the menu system and we're activating the digital zoom on the camera system. And the digital zoom is great when you have to get a particular shot, not as good a quality as the optical, but it will give you the ability to, in two stages, get tighter shots that you might need. And you'll see here that we have this long shot where we're trying to get in tight onto the Statue of Liberty shooting over Ellis Island. Now I find that going into that first stage is perfectly acceptable for a lot of different shots. And then we're also gonna go ahead and take a look at that last stage of the digital zoom to see what it looks like you can see that we do introduce some noise into the picture, which would have to be handled in post. But it is in certain situations where you can't get to a particular location, a great feature to have in the camera. So the image stabilization on this camera is extensive. So we can go into the menu right now to activate that. I'm going to go into camera setup under OIS functions. And then in there, I'm going to actually turn on the image stabilization. And as soon as I do that, my image stabilizer options become available, and I can choose either standard or dynamic, depending on how I'm shooting with the camera system. So if I step out of the menu, we can see here that dynamic is selected, which again is really great and a really, really high level of image stabilization. But on the back of the camera, there's a button called Powered IS. And if I press that, the D changes to a P. This is a five axis image stabilization system and as you can see from the footage that we shot here is incredible it takes sort of what we get with dynamic and it takes it to a whole nother level so now we're going to talk about face detection which is really an extra level of autofocus in the camera system so if i go into the menu right now under camera setup there is an af mode option and i'm going to go in there and by default face af is off and inside of there, I have two options. The one I want to choose right now is face priority. 
And what phase priority does, which we can see in the shot that we're looking at right now, is it takes any face that it sees in the shot and it keeps that in focus. Anytime that we're not actually seeing a face, it will keep what's in the center of the frame in focus. So for a lot of shooting situations, I think that face priority is the best option when you are doing face detection. So the eight bladed circular iris on the 200 and 205 is a really, really great feature of the camera system because when we're going in for those tighter shots, and especially when we're shooting at night, where we want that beautiful bokeh or those out of focus areas, we can see here in this footage that it really comes into play. And because it's a circular iris, our bokeh is nearly perfect in terms of the circles that we see because we have that fast lens, which goes from an f1.8 on the wide end to a 2.8 on the long end, we're capable of getting really nice low light capabilities. And the camera system has been engineered for better low light than other camera systems with sensors of this size. So there you have it. That's an overview of the lens optics in the XF200 and the XF205.